Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today is another Kika tutorial. Um, today we're going to spend some time looking at making your own page layout. So when you guys open Kika, you'll notice many times there's a bottom corner, bottom right of your corner, you'll see like um, the date, the title, things like that. But that can actually be edited, it can be changed into a way that you would like to use it. I'm also going to speak a bit about ways I would change my page setups and the reasons behind that. And yeah, just give you some tips and tricks of what we actually use in the industry, trying to keep track of our revisions and things like that. You can add images, you can add notes. Um, so yeah, that's what this video is about. We're going to go through how to change the layout and then just how to add your own spice to the page layout. But before we start guys, if you've been liking our KiCad series, Ultium series, love streams, our projects, please thumbs up, subscribe as just a nice way to show that we are helping you guys actually also guys don't forget that every month we as Plumpot do sponsor projects so just go watch previous videos we are sponsoring financially a project once a month so because youtube got uh, monetized so we're using those funds to help you guys even more if you just want to help us with this helping people you can also join the Plumpot membership below so next to the subscribe button there's a join button and then you can just join the Plumpot family and help us by helping more people um, yeah so what we want to do guys is help you guys find the interest in electronics and show you guys actually anyone can do it you don't need any background you don't need any studies this whole world old environment is made for everyone um, but let's get back to the video so keycad when you open a schematic normally comes to the bottom sheet um, title block at the bottom right of the sheet so this title box is very useful to know which date you made this project what type of title it has and the revision. You can also add extra stuff on the top here by going file, page settings and add different comments or anything you would like to do like that and it should pop up. So this is very useful um, just to use but what I want to show in this video is how to edit this and make it unique for whatever you want to use it for. I also want to talk about an extra block that I normally add when I design my PCBs to keep track of revisions. Um, so I'm going to draw a title block above here showing revision, what the changes are with the revisions, etc. like that. So let's get started. So to be able to change this, you have to go back to the home page and click on this button, Page Layout Editor. Once you get to this title block, you'll be able to change. So as you can see on the left hand side here, it's actually broken up to different sections. So if I click on that, it's a top rectangle. You'll see it highlights a blue. So that whole thing's a rectangle. There's another rectangle, the outer border, and then you've got some text. So if I want to change something, you do it over here. So you can see there's also special comments. So you can see C1, C2, C3 with the percentage. That is your comment one, which we looked at earlier. So when we looked at page setup, this, so comment one, comment two, comment three, that is the percentage uh, C, percentage P, things like that. So you can see the comment below, which it is. P is for sheets, Y is for company name, which pops up here. So if you wanna see where these are hidden, you can click the top left, show title blocks in edit mode, and they will see P, F, and all that stuff. So it's pretty nice. So these are variables that we automatically updated when you type in the stuff at page setup. So that's important. So this is linked to the percentages of, of this. So that's important to know. So why would you want to change something like this? Why not just keep it as KiCad wants you to be? There's a couple of reasons why I change it or I would change it. Is one can be to leave yourself a specific note in your schematic that you use for all the designs. Because what happens if I go here, right click, add text. So to add anything in this, in this window, you have to go to defaults, right click, add text. And yeah, I can make a text saying, uh, make sure VCC is pointing up and ground is pointing down like that and then it doesn't matter okay so now we'll pop up here and I can put something here so what this is telling me is that 
every single time I open a new sheet, I will have a text at the bottom here. And that will just be nice for any tips you might want to do. Uh, don't forget your pull-up resistors for um, I squared C or things like that. So maybe at the top left here, you'll have a small table of things you might forget while designing or things to remind yourself. So instead of some, having something at a separate page on a computer or in front of you, you might be able to do it in your schematic. That's one. Other one is just can make it look a bit better, fun. You can put images in there um, and you can change the stuff you want it for. So like I mentioned earlier, this is like for company and stuff. You can make whatever you want. So that's my title file. So we can make comment three. We can make this designer. It just gives you freedom of what you want. So when you make a change, it's very important. You have to push accept. Otherwise, nothing will change. And I will see when you go back, it will go away. You can also spice it up a bit. So I can add a bitmap file and I add this and I just add a keycad. So one thing you must be aware is you have to make sure the size is correct before you import it. So as you can see here, I cannot change the, oh, <laughs> that's new. <laughs> I cannot change the size, so I can't make it smaller or anything. Um, so that's important. So make sure your your picture, this is strange, your picture is the right size to fit in this box. So the pixels of width and height is correct. You cannot change the image once you, once you are in KiCad and it's placed. That's important to note to have. But for now, we can put at the bottom left here and it will be part of our thing. Uh, this is not normal, but <laughs> it works. As always, push accept. Now I want to show you something that we actually used in industry as well. Um, as you can see the bottom right here, you see revision. So it's always when you make new schematics, there's different revisions um, as you go. So if you change components and you make a new board, there's a revision change. But sometimes you are not the only person working on a schematic. Um, so what is a good practice is to create a revision table on the top right. What I mean by that is saying revision one or revision two, what is different compared to revision one? I change resistor values, I add a capacitor. So that's a very good thing to have while designing, especially in a team. So let me show you how you can do that. And so to add a rectangle top, you can go right click, add rectangle, and then you can start adding it. So the only thing I don't like too much about this is you actually have to put in the lens here. So you cannot place it over there and then try to drag it to a specific position. So you literally have to go, uh, let's make this 200, make this 160 and say accept, then it will change. So you have to play around with that, the size you want and stuff. But what I will do is I will just delete this and I would look at this. So what is these? These are 256 by 22. So I'll go add line and there we go. So we made a nice line like that. So it's not ideal. I would like KiCad to upgrade, update this so I can move it as I please. Because this will take a bit longer of course, but hey, it's free, can't complain. So all you have to do is just make sure the length you want. So that minus that will give you the length. So this is three millimeters long. So I can add line, I can just make sure 8.5, we can start at zero, it doesn't matter. End at zero, and then this can be 12.5. Then we made a small thing and we can put it here and we can connect the dots. So yeah, we can keep doing that and make a nice table. But let's fast forward so you don't have to watch me do it. Now that I've made my nice table, I've got my revision here. We can move it a bit down. So if you move it more accurately, you can always play around with positions here. So if I want to make eight, you can see it will start moving. So you can play around with this and just move it because sometimes moving it a bit by your hand is not that accurate. You need to change the grid maybe or just be happy where it is. But for more, as you can see, if I move it here, it's a bit difficult to get perfect. Make use of this. Uh, movements here start x dot y so let's see what this is this is 18650 it's always nice to have it the same so what we're going to do now is i made a revision description so what i'm going to use this in my projects is i'm going to say revision 2 i'm going to explain what i changed so what is difference with revision 2 compared to revision 1 
I'll show you now how I save this this sheet, <laughs> this layout, and the, yeah, the page layout editor, and then use it in your project. So of course, all we do is push save, and then we'll save it somewhere. Um, Plum bot layout. So I cancel this, and now we can open our schematic sheet. You can see it's not here. So what you can do is when you go file page setup, browse, you can actually choose it. You say okay, and then you can see it changed. So this is the long way of doing it. Um, you can actually save it inside your library in your folders, or you can just open it like this all the time. But now you can see I've got it. So let's open a real project that I have. So this is the project we've been working on every Sunday on the live streams, uh, just our smart wall clock. And now I want my wall clock sheet to have the same sheet that I just made. I can just go here, downloads, plumpot layout, and then you can see it's a bit off because my layout is bigger. So that's also another thing to check guys. Make sure you make sheets for everything. So this should actually be A4. But now you can see it won't fit my project. So as you can see, the one we just created is a bit too small because I needed an A3 page. So to fix that, you just have to go to your page edit editor. And unfortunately, you will have to go to page setup over here, page settings. And there you have to make it A3. And you have to kind of redo it. So let's see what happens. So all I have to do now is I can take this, move it a bit there, move it a bit there. And I can move this up. Yeah, I can save that. And now if I go to my place and I import it, and there you can see um, we made it for A3 guys. So always be careful when you go here, just make sure that you have your page setting correct. So you kind of have to make a, a page layout for every single variant, unfortunately. So once I'm here, you can see I've got this new stuff at the bottom, designer, uh, my keycat symbol and I can't move it it's part of my sheet so now I'll always see this and like I said if I go to page settings and I add some stuff here from bot, it will pop up at the bottom there you can see and then the top right what I would do is I would place a text and I would say revision 2 and then another text saying um, replaced R1 with a 10k resistor or you can just actually say 10k but no. and you can do stuff like this so the next time you can make this bigger as well so the next time someone opens your sheet and they see okay this is revision 2 i wonder what you changed they can just look at the top right and say revision 2 ah, i replaced r3 with 10k resistor and yeah you can go as much detail as you want to or too much current or something um, this is just very nice. You'll see some they do this in industry as well. So if you ever want to become a PC designer in industry, this is also a good thing to know. Uh, it also just helps you to look back when you look at this thing in five years time. You'll be like, oh, why did I make changes? Why did I do this? And that's perfect place to see and just refresh your memory. That's it guys. So that was our video on how to make your own sheet. So just quick recap, use this page layout editor make sure that you are using the correct paper you want to use a3 doesn't matter and then you can start adding stuff here on the left hand side you can add images you can if you want to look at the percentage stuff that we spoke about it's this button top right these are variables that you can change at the file page settings these variables here you can change and it will pop up at the bottom right here revision 2 and then we added a nice little box saying revision 2 what's different we replaced r1 with a 10k resistor you can also add some notes for yourself here these can't be deleted so it's always nice to have something to look back so maybe make a nice little table here of things you need to remember always um, other than that was quite nice it's 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 a once-off thing it might take a long time to do but once you are done it's really going to be helpful i think i'm going to spend Bit of time making a nice plum pot one for myself i will share the layout with you guys as well on our github and then you can use it if you want edit it as is put our own little plum pot logo there uh, that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video until next time bye